Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Game Night. This is a <coughs> small pickups video. <coughs> Some of my stuff I ordered came in finally. So, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, show you what it's. Some of the stuff that I got. I'm still waiting for a few more things to come in, but. <coughs> um, so, one of them I can show you, but I can't unbox it because it's for a friend. This is um, Eldritch Horror, and this is my friend's uh, birthday gift, so we chipped in and got it for her. So I can't really unbox this, this is not mine. But we will eventually play it, so I'll do a live feed of that. So starting with mine, we got Roll For It, and um, this is the purple box. get and roll for it. I can open the box. They got one of those uh, boxes that just are factory. Um, sealed. Very good. So, thanks for Kickstarter. So, there's that. <clears throat> and the rules, which are pretty, pretty much self-explanatory. I mean, it really isn't much. on how to explain how the game works. Uh, please. Yeah. I'll have to sleeve the cards if I'm stiffer sleeveable. <clears throat> and the cards look like this. And they have a value on it and you're trying. So these are all the ones that are worth two points. They have different values on them. It's a pressure luck uh, allocating game where you're basically trying to allocate your dice that you roll to uh, score points. And like you, when you roll those, di roll the dice and you place them on there, and once they're on there, they're stuck on there. And 15 pointers, so they go up to 15 points. Then um, you get a four sets of dice. They're your standard dice. They're like pearl type. So those are those. That's that box. You can play this up to two, four players. <coughs> but since I picked up this box, you can go up to eight. And everyone has their own different dice. I don't know if the cards are the same. I really didn't. Didn't look at that. That wasn't the point of the getting the, the bigger that other box. It was just so you could play larger groups. And these got the translucent dice in it. Thank you. 
I'm pretty sure it's pretty much use the same thing or uh twos, the fives, the twos. The tens. All the way up to the fifteens. All ones. So I don't know if they're all the same. I think they are though. The same thing. So yeah, I think that you don't use you use the one deck I think, and you don't use the cards. You just use the use the dice for more than one player. But it's scales for two to four players for one box or three to eight with um, the other. Pretty cool. <clears throat> and then last. We have Dixit oh, Origins. Okay. And this will just go in my Dixit box I already have. So I'll probably show some of the artwork on these. Show all the cards just because the whole point of Dixit is to kind of play with the unexpected stuff. So I'll just show a couple. That's the one in the front. Yeah, artwork like that. And I'll cut one more time. Tar looks like that one. There's something on there. That. And something like that. So it's got a lot of variety of cards to add to the to game already. And you need, of course, the main, the main game in order to play this one. To play this, you'll need the Dixit, the Dixit base game, which we have. <coughs> so that's it. Um, so yeah, um, <coughs> that's all for now. We'll definitely play some Roll for it soon, and of course we'll play some uh, Elders Horror once we read the rules and stuff. Thanks for watching.